3 of December of 2009, I heard about in, in Somali media about one of my friends who made suicide in bomb in Denmark, in Somalia. And that time was, I was shocked, I was confused, I was angry, and I was like, I, I cannot believe it about this happening in my community and even my own people in Somalia. So I was just like saying, I want to find out, I want to make research about why these young people, I know them, I grew up with them, was nice people, and play with, with them football, and why they're going to the culture they don't know, the religion they maybe they don't know about it, and, and the country they don't know about it, why they go there and make suicide bomb. And that's why I started the idea. And after that, the idea, I go to the Southern. And after that, we've been this working the last eight years. And we actually met uh, a few years before that, uh, when Nasib came to our uh, production company at that point with, a, with an idea to do something about the piracy. So we've known each other for like 2008. Eight, yeah. yeah. 11, 11 years. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the the term warrior covers uh, covers a lot of the perception that these guys have of themselves, mm -hmm. especially in the first film, uh, because there was this element of resistance against the the Ethiopian uh, army that had invaded Somalia at that time. So a lot of the rationale for joining Al Shabaab at that point was that they were freedom fighters. Mm -hmm. And they were fighting for an independent Somalia without the Ethiopians, who are Christians, being there. So, so they they saw themselves very much as warriors, and and I think it was a, a term that covered the both the, the the way they saw themselves and also the way that I think we we saw them. Uh, and warriors can be a, a good thing and a bad thing, <laughs> and 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 those are the nuances that we from the very beginning. Uh, wanted to, to look at. How do they see themselves and how do we see them? Uh, I think that what films and other kinds of expressions can do is to spark another kind of curiosity towards that issue. And I'm not saying like when they see our film then the, it's a big epiphany and, the, and then everything looks different for these people. But if you can just in some people spark another kind of interest, another kind of curiosity into a specific problem, this, in this case, radicalization. I, th I think that, uh, that's, um, that, that that's worth it. <laughs> and, and furthermore, I think it's, it has a value that, that uh, the people that, that this film is about, the young Somalis, their parents, their friends, their siblings, whatever, all the people around, also can feel that they're being seen and they're being heard which is a very important thing, I think. Being seen and heard without being stigmatized as an automatic thing, but actually being seen and heard and recognize themselves in the film. We can hope that if, if people actually sit down and see the film and maybe talk to their mates about it, uh, then they will uh, realize that, that the public debate that is going on in the media and when you listen to politicians who are equally radicalized as these young guys, they, they might think that, oh, maybe it's a bit more complex, a bit more nuanced than, than we are presented this idea. Because as you probably also experience here in the UK, at least in Denmark, we re really experience that politicians are sort of competing with coming up with new hardcore measures, uh, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, almost biblical. And, and, uh, and, and uh, that approach is uh, populistic, I think, and aims only to satisfy the lowest instinct among the voters. I, w I wish that the politicians would see the film also mm. uh, to grasp that uh, that it's much more complex and much more interesting than the eye for an eye debate. And I think we have to take these young children back again because it's our children, it's our society. They grow up and. We have to take our responsibility as community in our country. But of course, the, 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 the principle should be empathy, like you say. Empathy and, and, and uh, giving people a voice, uh, giving them a chance to be heard and seen. 
some people in Denmark right now would call that hippie, hippie, hippie bullshit. Halal, <laughs> <laughs> halal hippie. That's a, that's a <laughs> phrase that is uh, used very often uh, when we, when yeah, when people like us talk. <laughs> but uh, but I, th I th nevertheless I think it 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 has to be the the way forward. <laughs>